So we have the holes, but whenever you create something like uh, you add more edges, what happens is that your shape starts to get restricted by these edges. What I mean is we have like, while I was doing that, I forgot to mention that when we are working on these edges and you get your shape um, sort of broken, then what you need to do is to go and reshape this. So we need to actually go to mode one. Let's rotate this. And actually, before we even mirror that geometry, we need to sort of reshape put this object back together as it was before we added the holes. So we have this curvature. I'm just going to even the space between these uh, uh, vertices. Press 3. This looks a little bit better than... Let's not work on this side. I'm just going to work only on this part here. And even evening up these spaces will give me the shape that I wanted. The shape that I had in the first place. Let's scale these down. Make this sort of more flat. So you can see that this is exactly what I want. Let's uh, let me delete these faces since I forgot to make that step. And let's look into this object and press 3. So this is basically this looks okay except that we need to move some vertices down now. So select the vertices that we need to move down. Sort of get this flow I need to like move around and make sure that everything is uh, lined up here Maybe this and when we're done and everything looks right and we can uh, go to the top view get rid of what we don't need and let's do some mirroring again select this, delete the history let's uh, freeze transformations Let's center the pivot point. Let's bring the pivot point all the way down here. Hold down the D key, move on the X, snap to point, middle mouse, snap to this edge here. Turn off the snap to point. Mesh mirror geometry. We want to mirror it on the X, so plus X. Let's not merge it. Apply. Let's select these vertices over here and merge those since we want to merge that part select this let's move the pivot point on the on the center edge so D, hold down the D key, move it on the sorry, hold down the D key, move it on the Z snap to point turn off the snap to point now we want to mirror it on minus Z. Apply. Okay. So now it looks good. What we need to do, the final step again, if you remember, we need to select the center vertices. Control, unclick these ones. And go to Edit Mesh, Merge. Go to Object Mode, Perspective. Press 3, make sure everything is right. So now I corrected that problem I had. Because again, when we punch these holes, we add more geometry. Adding more geometry uh, can go to, uh, can ruin your actual curve, curveness here, curvature. And I didn't 
I didn't see that while that happened, so I had to go back a couple of steps, reshape it, since we need these edges, reshape it and then get this clean shape, clean curve. And I had to, again, um, mirror all this quarter, to this quarter part, and then the whole piece all together. So now I have like my board done. What I need to do is let's go to one mode number one and uh, hard surface preview mode and extrude it this time. So let's go edit mesh, extrude, pull it on the Z. And I see that I have a lot of divisions for some reason. I might be, I had my, my settings all messed up from the previous project probably. It's okay, I'm gonna just extrude it. Go to object mode, select it, and let's go to my poly extrude face. And change the divisions to only two. So one on the middle. I'm gonna select the edge, edge mode, and double click on the middle edge, the middle division. And uh before I do anything I notice that there's a little bit of a problem here. Um, I'm going to go to the top view. Actually, that's how I want it. See. Actually, there's no problem. It's like it looks good. It might be a little bit. We might resize a little bit. I can see it on the extrusion. I just I might go and resize that part a little bit. Just pull it up just a bit. And since I and pull it down, so it's is it? Nice flow. Let's do the same on the other side before we uh, add more detail. So just pull it over on the X and a little bit on the Y. Just down. Okay, so go back to object mode, select it, go to 1. And what we need to do is this is, looks really soft here, so I'm just going to go ahead and select all these edges. Double click. Hold on the shift key and keep double clicking on these edges till you get everything. Let's get both sides. I have both edge loops selected. Go to edit mesh and bevel them. So we get a bevel that is quite looks quite right but um, I can just go ahead and like offset that to 0 0.1 which is a little bit less and maybe add more segments we can also select the middle edge double click it and go to my top view just start pulling that on the Z scaling that a little bit on the Z and a little bit on the X. So I have like some uh, transition. Again, I could go back to my vertex mode here and see that these still remain. I could just change, it, change the shape a little bit. Corrected. Okay, so and this I can just pull back. This is just a material problem. I just have to go and add another material. Just gonna add another material. This might happen sometimes. So if that happens, this breaking on the surface, it's not, it's a visual problem, it's not the material itself. Uh, so you need to kind of add another material. It's because of a lot of editing, sometimes the, the Lambert doesn't register well on the surface. So we have our object almost done here. We need only one more step just to kind of sharpen these areas here. So insert edge loop, we just need to insert edge loops here. and do that for the four sides for these four holes 
You can even like insert an edge loop up here. That's why these loops are great because we can actually sharpen them from bo both sides. So now my board is complete. And I'm ready to start working on the trucks and the other parts of the board.